Hello and welcome to Fishing Tutorials. Today we're going to look at how to tie a simple barbel fishing rig. We have a couple of rigs that we like to use for barbel and chub fishing and we're going to run through how to tie them and the pros and cons of each one. On one hand you've got the lead clip setup, which enables you to change the size of your lead or feeder throughout your session and on the other hand there's just a simple running rig setup which potentially gives a more free running setup and maybe a little bit more finesse. Should you choose to fish with a lead clip these are the items that you will need. A Guru micro lead clip. This comes with the tail rubbers and micro swivels. Your feeder or lead of choice. Some 8 or 10 pound line. In clear water we would advise fluorocarbon as it's more transparent, a strong size 12 hook and boily stops. You'll also need some scissors and a baiting needle. Now let's tie the rig. Starting with the main line, we like to use 10 or 12 pound monofilament as barb will fight very hard. Remember to use a hook link of a slightly lighter breaking strain than your main line, that way if you get snagged you end up losing just your hook, not your feeder or lead. Take the end of your main line and thread it through the tail rubber and then through the lead clip. Now tie your line onto a micro swivel. We tend to use a half blood knot but a palomar or uni knot will work fine too. Wet your knot before pulling it tight and then trim the tag end. The tail rubber, lead clip and swivel will pull down to look like this. Now it's time to tie a hook link. For barbel fishing we'll use a hook link of anything between 1 to 4 or 5 feet. If the water's quite murky and the fish are feeding confidently then we'll go quite short. If it's very clear water and the fish are wary then we'll go longer. The aim of a longer hook link is simply to separate your bait from your lead setup, meaning the fish is less likely to spook off your lead or your main line. Peeling off a length of hook link material and cutting it off you then need to tie a small overhand loop in the end. This loop will hold your bait of choice. Then thread on your hook and set the hair length. Wrap the line around the shank of the hook, knotless knot style, wrapping approximately seven times before passing the line back through the hook eye towards the point. Tighten this down and your rig is nearly done. Now tie the other end of your hook link to the micro swivel with a blood, palomar or uni knot. Now you can mount your hook bait. In this case a trimmed down piece of pepperami, a great firm bait that will withstand small fish pecking at it and work really well for barbel. Next, pop in a boilie stop to hold the bait in place. The rig is finished by attaching a lead or feeder to the lead clip. We like to use this setup with a lead clip most of the time when we're fishing on larger rivers. Reason being is that we can start the day using a large feeder or something to introduce a bit of bait, get some bait in the swim and then later on if we've put enough bait in the water we can actually take that feeder off and switch to a smaller lead which makes less of a splash when you make the cast. Many anglers will use this setup on two rods and fish them at the same time, often fishing with the upstream rod on a feeder and the downstream one on a straight lead. The lead makes less of a splash but the feeder introduces bait, drawing fish up into the swim. Very regularly the fish will come into the swim early on and feed where that bait is but if you catch a few and they back off they may end up further down the swim and that's where you can use a small lead and use that downstream rod just to cast around and explore to find out where those fish might be. This rig is a good way though to fish both methods and change throughout the day. If you'd prefer not to use a lead clip there's another setup which creates a neat little free running rig and that's what we'll show you how to tie now. For this you'll need the same items as the lead clip setup but switch the lead clip, tail rubber and micro swivel for a Guru speed bead. Take your lead or feeder of choice and thread it onto your main line. Detach the two parts of the speed bead, thread the bead up onto the main line and tie on the swivel. We use a half blood knot but as before mentioned other knots will work fine.
Now, just like before, you'll tie a hook link, but at the end of the hook link, you will need to tie a figure of eight loop knot. This loop at the end of your hook link will pass over the speed bead swivel before the bead is pushed down and tucks over it. Although with this setup you can't change your lead without cutting the main line and retying, one thing you can do with this setup is change hook links very quickly and easily. By detaching the speed bead, you can loop on or off any of the hook links that you've prepared for your day of fishing and change them quite quick. As you saw, I tied a hair rig, which worked great with pepper army as we used or small pellets and boilies and stuff. However, for convenience, when using spam or something very soft as a hook bait, we actually like to swap out the traditional hair rig for a setup with a speed stop instead. This is because a standard boilie stop often falls off when using a soft bait like spam. However, by tying a speed stop on the hair instead of a loop, you can mount a piece of meat quickly like this, and when the bait comes off, the stop is still there so less wastage. So there are a couple of simple barbel fishing rigs that you can use for your ledger or feeder fishing. If you're into your barbel, chub, and river fishing in general, we'd definitely advise you check out this video as it's full of action-packed barbel fishing. Hope you enjoy watching and we'll see you guys soon.